Okay, now the first thing we're going to do in this project is add a reference to the directory services assembly. So we're going to add reference, go down here to system.directoryServices, select it, and hit OK. And then, of course, we need to add our using statement so that we can use the namespace. So using system.directoryServices. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and instantiate the directory entry object that will represent the folder that we're going to do our searching on. And in this case, we're just going to do a directory entry with nothing in there which will represent the root of our AD. Next, we'll instantiate a directory searcher object, which will be the object that will actually handle the searching for us and give us our results. So, AD searcher object equals new directory searcher and it needs a folder in which to start from. We're going to give it our AD folder object that we referenced a little earlier here. Okay. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is set our search scope. We're going to set it to equal uh, subtree so I can check the top folder in every sub-level. I'll have a link at the end that will give you the details on the other options here. Now that we have a search scope, let's go ahead and set a filter so that we can get back exactly what we want, in this case users. So I'm going to set the uh, filter to equal object class equals user. Oop, back up here. Equals user, which will give me all the users within this uh, Active Directory, including all the subfolders. Here's some other examples of some other search options we could use. I'm going to use a couple of these in the demonstration going forward, but I just want to show them to you now. Okay. The next thing we need to do is to go ahead and uh, run our search and iterate through the collection so it gives us back a search result set and we're going to set the result to at ad object and we're going to reference the find all method on the directory searcher so it will give us back all of our users based off our filter. And I'm just going to do a console write line. We're just going to output, uh, let's say, the common name. Okay, and let's say the path. Okay, and then to get those two, we're going to do the AD object, uh, which is our search result. We're going to, in this case, for the common name, go to the properties, parentheses, CN for common name. And since it's an array, I want the first one, which is zero here, and go ahead and go ahead and get the path as well. Okay, we'll go ahead and the colon. Now that I have that, the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, give myself a uh, little console write line to give myself some space so we can see it, and then a nice hit any key if you'd like to continue, put the key to continue, and then, and lastly, I need a uh, console read line to pause the uh, screen there. All right, so now that we've done that. Let's go ahead and uh, build it and run it. Hopefully we'll see a list of all of the users in the entire Active Directory because I did, again, a subtree from the AD root level. All right, and as you can see, I've got everything. Built-in accounts, administrative guests. I've got some accounts from uh, other organizational units and whatnot. So let's go ahead and uh, hit any key to continue. Go back to our code. Okay, and let's go ahead and change the filter now. So we don't get those built-in accounts like the administrator account and the guest account. So I'm just going to grab this little sample here and paste it. And again, I'm going to give you a link in the resource um, that will show you the Active Directory syntax. Okay, so I have a parentheses and ampersand. This gives me my and. Let's go ahead and build it and run it. And hopefully, save it. And hopefully this time you will see that uh, there are no uh, built-in accounts like the administrator or the user, so I'm going to stretch this out. And there's my list of users, and as you can see, there's no administrator or use or a guest account, which are both built in. Okay, now let's go ahead and close this, and let's do it again. This time, we want to look at all of the users within a particular OU, and in that case, I need to go up here and actually give uh, my uh, AD folder object the path to start out with, so we're not searching the entire uh, active directory. So I'm going to set the OU to accounting, which is the organization that I created. The main context equals RS Lab, which is the name of my Active Directory. The main context equals local yours. Of course, it would be different. All 
alright now I've done that let's go ahead and build it and run it again I'm searching from a different point in the Active Directory structure now as you'll see in a second here is only the users in that OU so I'll go ahead and stretch it so you can see it better and now you can see that I've only got users who have an OU equals account just by changing the the point at which we search within the Active Directory structure. Okay, close that. Now that you've seen all of that, let's go ahead and open up our project from my last webcast, which was how to add users and groups. I'm going to modify that that a little bit. So let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, we're going to scroll down here now. In that webcast, remember I actually added the users by typing in their path statement. That's what I was doing here. And okay, we're not going to. We're not going to do that in this demo. In this one, we're going to be a little smarter. We're going to delete this hard coded stuff. We're going to search for our users and add them that way. And in order to do that, just like in the previous, I'll save that code for later. We need to go ahead and create a directory searcher. And in this case, we call it AD searcher equals new. And it's a directory searcher. And of course, we have to give it a folder that we're going to work with. So I'm going to give it the one we've already declared earlier, all the way up here at the top of the original. Um, webcast. And I'll give you a link in the resource folder to the original webcast. Alright, so now we've got, got that. The next, just like in a previous demonstration, we're going to go ahead and we're going to set a filter. In this case, we're going to go ahead and set the object class to equal object class to equal user. And we're going to go ahead and set what essentially is going to be their office and to sales and an active directory is called physical delivery office name. I'm going to set that to sales. So we only get the people who are in sales. We're going to add that to our group. Okay, close that off. Okay. And then set the search scope to equal subtree so that I make sure I get everybody in every subfolder. If there were more than one folder here, folder level. Okay. Just to show you how that works, the physical delivery office name equals sales. We're going to go to Active Directory. I'm going to show you one user. I'm going to use John Smith here. Go to his properties. And you'll see that his office equals sales, which is essentially what the physical delivery office name is. Let's go ahead and minimize that. Okay, so now you see how that works. Let's go ahead and do our, uh, our find here. Each and it's going to search result and we'll call these users to add. And it'll be on our maybe searcher dot in this case find all. And while I'm here, let me just show you. You also have the option to do a find one, which obviously will find just the first one. Let's go ahead and finish that. Now that I've got that, let's go ahead and copy this code that we had earlier and move it up here inside of our for each and we'll modify it slightly. So I'm going to tab it over here change the console right line to uh, to add the user based off of the active directory search here instead of hard coding in here. So that and the user will be we'll use their name so we'll check their property and do name and name is array and array as well so we want the first one okay so that'll be a nice message for us Instead of hard coding their path, we're going to go ahead and, and use the user that we, we found. So we use the add and we're just going to put his path in there. Okay. We've done that. Let's go ahead and there's just a little space for the hidden any key. Let's go ahead and uh, so this guy I'm running first. Let's look at the active directory. You know, if I do a search or refresh, you see there's no sales group there. All right. Let's go ahead and minimize that. And let's go ahead and build and run our application. All right. Run it. You'll see a nice message saying that each one of those users were added. Okay. So we got that. So let's go ahead. And